Hello, Rich Merritt here with Digital Combustion, and today's tutorial is on Comlink 6. And we're going to teach you how to start up the simulation server and start connecting computers to Comlink so that they're ready to be controlled on a multi screen simulation. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and open Comlink 6, and this is the screen that you'll default to when it first opens. And we're going to need to go to this bottom left corner and we're going to hit the network button. And that brings up the uh, network screen and this panel down here is what we're going to have to put some information in. So first we're going to put a username and usually for Comlink, just to keep track of everything, I'll actually call this Comlink. So we'll type in Comlink. And then the name sometimes that's think of that as the server name but it, it can also be like the simulation room name where everyone's going to log into so I'm just going to call this DC sim and now for the port number this is a little bit um, different depending on where you're at uh, the default that we can put in here is just one two three four five and that's a, a good safe bet that that'll work on most systems. Now, if you're on a city system and it's uh, got all sorts of different security and settings that, that have to be done, there might be a specific port number that you'll need and you'll have to get that from your IT department. And keep in mind, if you're, if you're gonna call Digital Combustion for help on this, we are not network specialists. Uh, the people that we have answering the phones, nor even myself, we don't know every different network configuration that you might have uh, there's a lot of security settings that sometimes uh, departments will set up and you're gonna have to go through and take care of that with your IT department so that's something that typically we won't be able to troubleshoot especially over the phone so once we uh, enter these three things here we're gonna go ahead and hit start server there'll be a short pause and then you'll see the message server started along with the IP address that Comlink is connected to. So at this point, it's probably a good idea to write down the IP address as well as that port number because the other players connecting to Comlink will need to enter those numbers uh, in order to connect properly. And this is especially important if you are in either different rooms or even in different buildings as far as where those players are residing. So just make sure you take note of those numbers and they'll always be on Comlink. So if you forget or, or someone needs to re-enter them and you didn't write them down, uh, you can always see them because they'll be uh, at the top of that list for Comlink. A couple differences between Mac and Windows uh, when you're logging in, and I'll show you the differences of those in a few minutes. But so far, right now, you've got you've started Comlink and you've started the server, and so you're ready to go. What will happen is, is if you see up here in the upper left corner, it says all users. As people log in, this is where they'll show up in the screen, and so we'll show that in a little bit as well. We are now going to log in to Comlink from a Windows computer using Fire Studio 6. And this happens to be an instructor edition. You can use a player edition or an instructor edition to log in. So right now we're going to go to the left hand lower button here on network. And this is where we're going to log in. And so you can see here it says enter the IP address and port number to connect to Comlink servers. So we also need to give ourselves a name. And so that name, I'm just going to call us station one room name we don't need to worry about because it's going to find it and then i'm going to enter the ip address that we we uh, wrote down earlier and then the port number we also wrote down and again we used one two three four five as a default and you may have different ones that you need to put in for your network and again you need to talk to your it people uh, to make sure that you can connect those computers together and once you enter that port number you can see that the connect button then becomes live over here. So I'm going to hit connect. And you can see now we're connected. And so once we're connected now, this computer can now be controlled by Comlink. Now we're back to our Comlink screen where we can see that up here under all users that station one has now connected. And if we look down in this message area right here we can see that station one is connected to our comlink servers and so let's go ahead and i'll move over to a mac computer and i'll show you the differences uh, as far as hooking up a mac as opposed to a windows computer 
Okay, now I'm back over to my Mac computer, and you can see I've pulled up here a player edition instead of the instructor edition, and everything's similar. It just does look a little different as far as the interface, but in the lower left-hand corner, we can still see that we have the network button, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And the biggest difference in the Mac and the Windows is that the Mac will actually find the simulation room or the simulation server. So you can see on this list, we can see DC Sim. And so if I click on that, it actually fills in that room name. And all we have to do is put in our username. And so I'm going to go ahead and call this Station 2. And that's all we need. You can see that the Connect button lights up. So it doesn't need the IP address and port. Now, for some reason, it didn't find that room you can manually enter that and still connect. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just hit connect and you can see instantly it says Comlink connected. So we know that we're online and so now we'll take a look back at our Comlink screen and we should be able to see those two computers now connected. Now back on Comlink you can see that under all users up here we can see that station one and station two are now logged into Comlink. So we've got uh, shows it down here at the bottom and also on, all, on our all user list so we know that we're connected and ready to go. So that's pretty much it as far as how do we connect computers to Comlink and if you know how to do one you know how to do you can do 10 you can do 20 or however many you're going to connect. If you want to connect an iPad it's the exact same procedure you're going to click on the network button it's going to be just like hooking up another Mac so it's going to see the room name there and all you'll need to do is enter a username it'll default to whatever your iPad is called and you click connect and it'll be the same thing so the iPad and the computer are virtually identical as far as how you log in that's it for this tutorial I hope it's helped you out to get you started connecting computers to Comlink you can always go to our website for some more information at digitalcombustion.com this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion thanks for watching